Hi and welcome to Day 3 of WAVE, I'm Daniel Bogdanov, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to draw 9 winners, 3 of which will win a 1 GHz 3000T touchscreen oscilloscope like this one, but before we get there I have two things. First I have a quick favor to ask. We've added a card with a polling question. You should be able to answer it from a phone or PC in like three seconds. And this will help us tailor our channel and prioritize our video creation in the future. The question is, what is your background? What brought you to this channel? And what brought you to this event? Do you do engineering, electronics, or testing as a pro? Like, is that your job? Or are you enrolled somewhere as a student? Or is this one of your hobbies? Let us know, it will really help us make the channel and future events like this better. Thank you in advance for helping out. Second, we have our test gear tip for the day, courtesy of Aaron, which will explore the oscilloscope trigger hold-off settings. Let's take a look. By default, oscilloscope triggers have a certain rearm time. So what this means is your oscilloscope triggers, and then it rearms to trigger again and find the next occurrence of your signal event. This rearm time is usually pretty fast to ensure that you aren't missing any events in your signal. And in most cases, this is exactly how we want the oscilloscope to function. However, there are of course some special cases where we want that trigger to wait a little bit longer to rearm. Let's look at this packet of pulses as an example. This entire packet is about 250 microseconds wide. Plus I can see there's a little glitch on the end here that I also want to capture. So let's say the entire packet is about 350 microseconds wide. Well, that packet width is far longer than the trigger rearm time. So you can see as I'm triggering on the signal, we're seeing some flickering going on here. This is because the oscilloscope is triggering on that first pulse in the packet, rearming, and then incorrectly triggering again on another pulse in that same packet. Whereas we would ideally want it to trigger on this packet, wait, and then trigger on the next packet. It should not be triggering on anything aside from the first pulse in the packet. So we basically want to tell the oscilloscope to wait for the entire packet to be captured and then rearm the trigger. If you go into the trigger menu, you can set a hold off time. So like I said, we want the oscilloscope to wait until the entire packet has been captured for the trigger to rearm, which means we want to set the hold off equivalent to the width of the packet, 350 microseconds. You can see now that the trigger is actually stable and we can clearly see the packet on screen. Now you can make accurate measurements on it and perform analysis. Check back in later this week and I'll show you how you can go about making measurements on each of these individual pulses using the gated measurement functionality. If you want more test gear tips, make sure to check out the WAVE libraries on the WAVE homepage for some hand-picked app notes and eBooks. And now it's time to draw our nine winners. We have those same pieces of equipment and software that we're giving away every day. You can check out the blog post linked in the description to highlight that. The first winner is gonna win a DSOX 1204G. We're giving away one of these every weekday until March 15th. And that winner is Chris Samut. Congratulations, Chris. We are also every weekday in WAVE giving away two of these U1233A handheld digital multimeters. And those winners are Tommy Izo and Alexander Strafanik. Congratulations to both of you. Um, and then we also give away a Benchview license. That's a lifetime long license with all the software options and goodies. And that one is gonna go to Darren Bergenheyer. Congratulations, Darren. We also give away every weekday in Wave two probe, two packs. Those are 200 megahertz, switchable 10 to one probes. Those go to Randy Cottle and Sebastian Kohler, congratulations. And then each day in WAVE, we give away some bonus prizes. Today we're giving away the one gigahertz touchscreen oscilloscope. And those go to Diane Sutotu, Matthias Padding, and Chu Long. Congratulations to our winners. We'll be in touch with you in the next 48 hours. And those are today's winners. Make sure to tune in tomorrow where we will be giving away three of these triple output power supplies in addition to the other daily gifts that we're giving away each weekday. Also make sure to subscribe to the Keysight Labs YouTube channel. Check out our podcast over on the Keysight Podcast YouTube channel. And remember to get your daily entry at wavekeysight.com. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff and I'll see you tomorrow.